What's the word, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Sice. And in today's tutorial, I'm about to teach you how to make this cool looking flare right here using BCC 2025. Let's get into this. All right, brother. So in After Effects, I already have a twisted clip. So, you know, if you feel like you need to slow down your clip, then slow it down. But I needed to do it, so I did it. But anyway, I'm going to add an adjustment layer. And on that adjustment layer, I'm going to add BCC Lens Flare 3D. And before I do anything, I'm going to come into the current area. And I'm going to choose a preset. Me, I want something that's going to like match my scene. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to use the bright foggy flare, right? And before I track this, I'm going to come down to the obscuration map layer. And I'm going to change this from none to my clip. And now you might see it disappear, but we're going to fix that. I'm going to come down and go to motion tracker slash mocha. And I'm going to just click the mocha button right here after making my composition full so when we press full i'm gonna come here and i'm just gonna make a mask over a light where i want my flare to come from so it's gonna mask over here and then i'm gonna drag the light source circle over my mask and i'm gonna grab the light source plus over my mask as well then i'm gonna come up to track track forward all right brother so as you can see my flare has come back, right? And it's looking pretty cool, but I can come here and I can change a few options. Like, I'm going to go up to the light flicker. And if you've seen my optical flares one, you know I like a nice sharp uh, flare. So I'm going to make this sharp and I'm going to up the speed to 100 and bring the amount up to like 40 or 50. Feel me? It's very noticeable. But there's also this ugly ring up here. All of these options down here are pretty... I really want to say optional, but I'm just going to show you what a few of them do, you know? So I'm going to turn off all of these real quick. So the rays, they're going to keep the lines there. So I really don't want to get rid of those. I'm going to open up the rays layer and then I'm going to bring the scale down just a little bit. You know, I don't want them so long. And I'm also going to bring down the flare layer. I'm going to change the intensity. The intensity is extremely high, so I'm going to bring it down to where like it kind of fits in the light bulb. And you see there's a ring here as well. You don't even need a ring. You can turn off the ring by just clicking that box. I'm going to close the flare tab, close the flare trigger tab, because there's a lot of tabs here. Now I'm going to turn back on the rays, and I'm going to play with the fog. For the fog, I want the fog to be like covering the entire screen. So I'm going to play with the intensity value. Oh my god, I'm on the rays. I'm going to play with the intensity value. And I'm also going to play with the scale some more. So it's kind of covering my entire screen. I'm also going to turn on the hollow disk. I'm going to also turn on the glows. Because the glows give a nice effect. I like the glows. And under the glows, you can change the colors to anything you really want. I guess I'm going to go with the blue that's kind of already like in the scene. Yeah, it's like teal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can change the position, the count of how many there are, and the scale variation. And now the stripe. The stripe is always that big line that you see in the middle of your uh, flare. So you can turn that on and up the intensity if you really want to. I don't really think this flare needs it, but I'm going I'm to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here. The length, you can make it shorter or longer, depending on how much you want it. And I'm going to change this color, though. I'm going to change this to, like, teal as well. Facts, B. Facts. And the chromatic fan, um, this, I feel like this is something you can use if you're, like, tracking headlights or something. You feel me? Uh, I really don't feel like we need this right here. This is a little extra. You feel me? But the chromatic hoop, definitely, you need this. Up the scale. You can even up the count. And chromatic hoop, it gives you the most out of your flare. I'm not going to lie. These things are pretty cool. So now I'm going to go down to the arc completeness. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Because I don't want it curving so much around my flare. And maybe I can make the count like three. And the other ones will get smaller. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. Yes, sir. All right. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to close the chromatic hoop. The elliptical caustic, mm. 
Are we going to use this? This is what this does. This gives you another circle. But in all honesty, I personally don't want to use this. This is pretty cool. I'm not going to hold you. You can give it colors. You can do things with that. But, oh yeah, also uh, you can change the intensity, the outline. You see how the outline is kind of like coming towards the middle. So I'm guessing the ring outline, that's what that does. But I'm going to turn this off. Now I'm going to come down to the star caustic. I'm keeping this on. The star caustic is like a little light in the corner of your screen at all times. It's pretty cool. Intensity, you turn it on as you can see. Boom. It's it's one of those things that stick at the end of your flare. Yo, bro, I'm like in love with this right now. And now you could come down to the chromatic aberration. Hold on, let's close up some of these layers. The chromatic aberration looks really dope as well. I feel like you should keep that on. And just, you know, shift the colors a little bit. Also, bring up the intensity. Yeah, it gives you a nice difference in there. Mm -hmm. All right, brothers. You feel what I'm saying, man? That's really the gist of it, yo. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial, man, drop a like, comment, and share. And definitely hit that bell notification just so you can get all my notifications whenever I make a post. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm out. Very nice, baby.